everyone and welcome to a get ready with me so in this video you're going to watch me apply my makeup taking my face from looking rather drab to looking a little bit more presentable and also what I'm wearing so it's kind of like a outfit get ready with me all in one type of video and I hope you enjoy so every it. good get ready with me video starts with the application of a little bit of a lip balm to just help smooth over your lips while you're getting ready this one right here is the philosophy hope and the stick one so I've got that on my lips and then I'm just going to apply a little bit of primer. You can see my skin is not looking in the best shape. It's really dry at the moment but I've got breakouts going on and I think it's just sort of a combination of the change of weather and stress and lots of lovely things like that. But I'm going to use a bit of primer and the primer I've chosen is the Revlon Photo Ready. I don't no normally use this. I prefer something more mattifying but as I said because my skin's got these weird dry patches I feel like something like this is probably the best option because it'll smooth everything over and not mattify it too much and make it kind of look too dull so just apply this all over and then for foundation I'm gonna go ahead and use my bourgeois healthy mix serum which I've been loving lately I've got this in the shade 56 and I'm just gonna pump some out onto the back of my hand and I really like this foundation I feel like it's a really lovely dewy coverage and it just looks very pretty and natural but doesn't um, it doesn't kind of give that too natural effect it's quite sort of buildable and the coverage is nice and then I'm just going to use a kind of buffing brush this one I think is from Nashway to just buff this all over the skin first and then I'll go ahead and kind of apply coverage as and when I want it so just really buff that into the skin and I like to, like I said, apply a thin layer all over first and then go ahead and do kind of targeted, um, kind of densifying the coverage, so kind of buffing it into areas where I need more Once coverage. I'm happy with the appearance of my foundation, I like to just kind of press it into the skin and make sure it's all nicely blended. And then I'm going to go in with my concealer. My under eye concealer of choice lately has been the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I really do like this, um, it's nice and light for under the eyes and it gives decent coverage but it's not as drying as the Collection 2001 but also it means it's not as concealing as the Collection 1. So I've been using this just with a brush and I like to kind of take it out to the outer corner, I get quite dark here and also in my inner corners and just blend it perfectly so I've got a kind of nice concealed under eye area and I'll take whatever I've got left on the underneath part. Um, of my brow bone just to kind of give a little bit of light down there and then obviously we're ignoring the elephant in the room which is this lovely little blemish I've got right here so for that I'm going to use the 17 stay time concealer and it was just kind of like a weird blemish that wasn't really a blemish and just decided that it was then going to turn into this ugly red angry type of blemish so I'm just going to apply a little bit of this concealer Dab it in with my fingers and a little bit more just to get the desired finish and the coverage looking pretty okay. So that is my base done. I'm then just going to go ahead and apply some powder. I'm going to use the Benefit the Professional Powder. It is quite a powdery finish um, and I'm not sure if it's the best powder to use when your skin is looking dry but I want my makeup to just stay in place and not get oily and this is going to really help that so I'm just using the little brush that it comes with and taking it down the center of my face first and then whatever's left onto the outer part of my face so that should help my um, foundation kind of look nice all day long and not move around. I've got a very, very, very long day ahead of me today. Um, then for bronzer, I'm going to go ahead and use a new bronzer that I've been loving lately. And this is the Bourjois um, Bronzing Powder. And this is what it looks like. It's the one that looks like a chocolate bar. So on a big fluffy brush, just dust this everywhere and get it all nice and glowy looking. I like to always take it on my neck because my neck's always lighter and just 
do a nice sweep of bronzer and then I'm going to go ahead and do my usual contouring trick which I won't even bother showing you because you've seen me do this a million times before. But once my contour is done I'm going to move on to my brows and I've been using this kind of little brow mascara from Benefit called Gimme Brow. I really like this. It does take a little bit of knack getting used to so I'm going to show you how I've been using it. So first of all I take like an old mascara one. This isn't actually an old one it's just one that you can buy or a brow comb, whatever you prefer, and I brush my brows into place. So you've kind of got your average shape going on. And then the brush on this is really, really tiny. It's sort of like one of the lower lash line mascaras. So it's a very tiny brush, and I like to just get off the excess from the edge because I feel like that gives a bit of a fake look. So I get the excess off. And what this does is it has little fibers in it, so it kind of builds up the texture of your brow as well as filling in any gaps and keeping it in place. So then I just like to kind of brush it through my brow and you do have to be a little bit careful with this kind of because it's tinted. This is the darker version, they do do a lighter one because I've got dark brows. This one's fine for me and you just want to kind of carry it through your brow in the natural shape of your brow and it really does give this kind of lovely effect but it also makes your brows appear a little bit fuller so if you are someone that has very sparse brows, I think you would really, really enjoy a product like this and it's quite a kind of revolutionary product in that it does really help to give your brows texture and not just kind of define them. So that's that for my brows. And now I've got a really exciting thing from Soap and Glory. And this is the Soap and Glory, um, what is this called? Their All Day Lid Shadow and Liner Stick Pencil. Now, I have been having a real, real issue lately with my eyeshadow creasing. No matter what I've been using, it's just been creasing really badly. This doesn't crease. It's a little bit dry in texture, but it stays put amazingly. So you just have this kind of nude shade on one end. So I'm just going to draw this all over. And you do have to work quite quickly because, as I said, it's quite dry in texture. And it does dry pretty quickly. So just apply that all over, and then you can go ahead and kind of apply more if you want a little bit more texture and it's great um, a little bit more coverage not texture it's great if you have quite dark lids like I do because it really helps to brighten them up and then I'm just going to take this end which is the kind of brown shade and just do a little bit along my lower lash line just to give a little bit of definition and take a little into my crease like that and just blend that outwards as I said, you do have to kind of blend quite quickly because it does settle a little bit. And there you go, you've got a kind of slightly smoky, nice defined eye in a matter of seconds that won't crease. It makes a great um, base for eyeshadows as well, but I'm not going to use any eyeshadows Now today. that both eyes are done, I went ahead and applied mascara and I used the Maybelline One by One Volume Express Mascara. I really, really like this. I've only been using this for about a week and I really, really like it. And I don't normally like a mascara upon first use. I need them to dry up a little bit and then I grow to like them instant like it's really really pretty it makes your lashes look really fluttery and I'm not sure how well you can kind of see but they look really long I've only applied it on my top lashes I don't feel like wearing anything on my lower lash line today so I really really recommend this love Maybelline mascaras in general if I'm honest then I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of blusher and I'm going to use this one by natural collection and this is in dusky pink really pretty natural pink colour and just to kind of add a little bit of a glow to my face. Just going to apply this onto kind of the high point of my cheek. I don't like applying it on the apples because I've got quite a round face anyway and I feel like that just accentuates the chubbiness of my face. So I've got that on my apples and then I'm going to go ahead and use a little bit of a highlighter. And this is the Second Glory Love at First Blush is a really pretty kind of highlighty shimmery type of product and I am using a fan brush with this the packaging of this is stunning it's kind of like a compass and just a small amount onto my fan brush buffed onto the tops of my cheekbones to just give my face a little bit of a glow and I feel like it also gives your face a little bit of a lift as well so I've got that on now I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of lip lining because I can't not line my lips, it's kind of my number one beauty thing. So I'm using this nude lip liner, this is by Essence, and actually, what shall I use? Shall I use that one? I thought I had another one right here with me. No, I am going to use this one then. So, just 
just like so, lightly line it, nothing overly complicated. And then for colour, I'm going to use one of the Rimmel Apocalypse, this is in the colour Celestial. And I'm not going to use this kind of too full on, I'm going to kind of get off most of it, so remove most of the excess of the product, and just lightly, lightly line, um, fill in my lips with it. So it's a nice bright pink colour. And that is my finished makeup. So now that my makeup's done, just a few little extra steps of me getting ready involve me kind of letting my hair out of the clip. So I washed it last night and dried it. This is what it looks like. Not fantastic, um, but yeah, that's my hair done. And then I'll just spritz my face with some of the Evian um, water just to kind of remove any powdery residue. And I feel like it just kind of gives my face a nice lip from within type of glow so a little bit of that and then I'm going to just use some perfume because I do this every day and I thought it'd be nice to kind of show you my um, kind of perfume I'm wearing today today I'm going to use the Kim Kardashian gold perfume so I always go one two three let that settle for a second and then do one on my wrist and another one on my wrist and it's quite a kind of sexy scent. I'm trying it out for the kind of third time today. And I'm not quite sure how I feel about it yet. I think it is quite sexy and it's quite kind of masculine in a way. But I do like it. So that's what I'm wearing and now today. now it's my outfit. And apologies that it's kind of awkwardly filmed. It's just because I'm filming it myself. But my nails are Essie Splash of Grenadine. Which is a really pretty kind of warm purpley pink shade. My handbag is from Romwe. And my watch is from New Look. Then for my outfit, my top is from Pre Sun Mall. I'll link it down below. It's just this kind of stripy fitted top that I'm wearing um, with jeans. And the top's kind of got this like lovely lace detailing on the shoulders, so it makes it a bit more feminine. And then my jeans are from Gap. And my shoes, I'll just back up over here a little bit, hopefully you can see them. They were from Primark. They're these kind of nude wedge heels. So that's my kind of very casual, slightly summery, um, well not summery, spring more like, outfit of the day.